If you use Venmo or Zelle or PayPal or something like it for business transactions, you might want to owe Uncle Sam a bigger chunk of change. As we've reported on this news hour, the IRS is now requiring payment app companies to disclose business transactions of $600 or more. The tax itself isn't new, just the new reporting requirements. The changes won't affect personal transactions at all, but businesses, yes. The new rule went into effect last month. NBC's Tom Costello on what it means for small business owners. When was the last time you used cash? Now it's easy for customers to Venmo your business. Millions of Americans use payment apps every day, transferring money to friends and family at garage sales, Airbnbs, Etsy, eBay, and small businesses. But suddenly the tax rules have changed. The IRS used to require small business owners to report payment app income over $20,000 and 200 transactions annually. Now for tax year 2022, they must report income over just $600 a year. Brianna Sandoval is a hairstylist in San Diego. A lot of her customers pay with Venmo. The new rules could complicate things. A big headache is a good way to categorize it. Um, it just makes it another thing that I then have to do. Jeff Clem is a professional music teacher in Akron, Ohio. It's really just the convenience. Of Everybody's got one of them, Venmo, PayPal, Zelle. Now the IRS says it will send 1099K forms to anyone who earns at least $600 in payment app income for goods or services to include when filing their taxes next year in 2023, making it very tough to hide cash income. It's not just income tax. I mean, there's, you know, the additional self-employment tax that applies to these businesses, and, and that's a big burden. If you use Venmo, this is important. The IRS is not taxing your personal transfers. PayPal and Venmo say users can separate business from personal transactions with a simple button. Zelle says it's not subject to the law since it doesn't actually handle funds itself. The new IRS rule is meant for businesses, large and small. And a small business can be really small. Where do we draw the line? If you are a kid out of high school and you're mowing lawns over the summer and you make more than 600 bucks, would you have to have one of these forms? Potentially, yeah. So keep good records. You know, in that instance, there's a good chance you may get a form, especially if you're using PayPal or Venmo. For the news, I'm Tom Costello.